Hello everyone, my name is Anil. Welcome to Education Tad. We are working on Flowable series, and in the last session we saw how to set up Docker. In today's session, we are going to implement Flowable image on Docker. So let's have a look. So I have opened up our shell command, and here I'm going to type the Docker image name for Flowable. So for that, first let's see the version this is working fine next is we need to run the docker run command for flowable i want to run it on 8080 flowable all this is one of the images i found over the internet and i'll share the url where you can reference uh, some additional details so if everything is working fine and the setup is working as expected if you run this command by pressing enter it will start downloading the image first and then it will start initiating it will start initiating uh, the flowable open source engine on this machine so first it finds all the images locally and then it tries to find over the internet as you can see that it has started pulling up and downloading all the required image files this will take some time i just as you can see that global has started it is asking for allowing access i'm going to provide this access global has already started at the powershell it has started printing global logs and it is going to run some of the db scripts as well and deploy some of the wars on embod embedded apache tomcat so we we need not to do anything when we are relying on docker image this itself takes care of your OS related libraries it takes care of your embedded apache tomcat it also installs flowable on that environment it does everything for you it makes all the things up and running so as we can see that flowable ui task is already up and running this is running on a spring boot 2.2.2 for rest of the SQL files, as you can see that this is started creating it. This takes some time. So I'll let it run and then we will start testing this on Postman. As you can see that the services are now running on 8080 port. It is started successfully. Next is we need to launch Postman. In here we need to provide the details so for that http localhost 8080 global task because it is part of the flowable task process api repository and deployments this is the url if we need to is deployment related information on flowable so this is the information that we need to pass and if you do send this will not allow to fetch any information but you will be able to see that unauthorized message is available which means you cannot access this without providing the authorization so for providing authorization you can go with basic auth you can provide admin and test the username, username and the password. Let's try calling the service again. So this will be authorized. And as you can see, this has given us the details of deployment. Since nothing has de uh, deployed yet, we just made our playable docker image up and running so this is providing no data but ideally if there is any data available it should have given us the information accordingly i've just made 
global modeler up and running let's create a very simple process leave creation leave process leave process and this is for the demo that whatever we are creating in here the same goes with your api rest api call so just select in here create a human task and then create an end activity in here simple task nothing fancy here we can create a form reference new form form name is simple form create this form as well and design just a simple text for the label simple text and closed saving this so i have very simple process created with one form in it now in apps if i want to create one application char app create application and then we can include this bpmn process now if i just close it to publish let's publish this as you can see that this is published now now let's get back to the same service so after deploying when i called it again it gave me all these details right so here you can see that how to interact with rest api where we can fetch out the details which may be required for any of the information related to deployment related to instances and sometimes this is very useful for creating custom reports as well without even going to database schema you can fetch out all these details on top of it with the rest api calls so let me also go through one level deeper where i can tell you what all rest apis are available So this is the Swagger APIs, Swagger documentation of all these APIs which are available. As you can see that they have very well categorized it with different BPMN or, or the usability. So some of the key APIs like BPMN API, DMN API, CMMN API along with app level api and the content or the core level apis are available in here with all the details how to call that what are their services this provides all these details in terms of how to call them what benefits or the functionality it carries so let me open a couple of them one thing that i like about flowable their their way of documentation is very good so as you can see that they have so many different apis some of the for batch some of the database table some of deployment related so the one that we just saw is flowable task process api and as part of the repository and deployments so this is what we just saw and if we click on it this provides you all the details how to call this api what are the signatures so as you can see that these are these can be some of the query parameters when we pass to this deployment like name like category parent and entirely like and then it also give you the responses as you just saw in here 
with the data and then total number of deployment is start short everything right so this is in the same format this was one of the example how to call that and how to match or read through this documentation but this is very extensive and it provides all related apis detail that you may need for creating your custom process for any dashboard related things that you may want from deployment perspective from the data perspective and similarly they have the segregation in the database table that they have his history tables and then they have runtime tables very similar to that they have also categorized the apis as well so as you can see that these are some of the apis which are related to history and then some of the apis related to runtime you will also find while going through it so as you can see the process instances some of the query parameters or the query related apis are also provided in terms of post task attachment task command so anything which you may need so some of the time uh, people may generally say like uh, if we are using enterprise version if we are not using open source so enterprise version has lots of good thing in terms of dashboard in terms of uh, ready-made uh, functionality available how we can create the same in open source so these are some of the apis these are your thing that you need to leverage and create that custom functionality which may be very much custom to your need and also this can with with all these apis you can create almost all the features available in global enterprise so the difference between open source and enterprise they are not uh, taking any any core functionalities from you both are built on the same process engine the only thing some of the features that you may want to develop they have already provided in enterprise so with this i'm going to share this link along with this video in the description box you can go through it you can find any api basis on your on your need if you feel any difficulty in accessing it let me know i should be able to help you so this is how we completed all the plan agenda on flowable i hope this series or the these sessions were helpful for you let me know any feedback on it and i'll keep adding some of the newer concept related to flowable and will make the part of this playlist so with this thanks for watching if you have not liked or subscribed to this channel go and like and subscribe do share with your friends because that is how i am planning to create better content next i am going to choose another series of videos stay tuned